Hey everyone, Tim Dorman back again to continue our videos on how to limit lifetime tax liability in retirement. And aside from sequence of investment returns, taxes are probably the most significant factor in determining how much money that you're going to have to spend in retirement or leave to your heirs or legacy. Asset location is a tool that we use to reduce taxes or basically limit the tax drag for our clients, but you are probably more likely familiar with asset allocation. What is the difference between the two? Well, asset allocation is basically a mix of equities, fixed income, cash, and different types of investments in your investment portfolio. You've probably heard of that, right? You know, one example is a 60-40 portfolio, which of course includes 60% stocks or equities and 40% bonds or fixed income, treasury, stuff like that. And your asset allocation allows you to balance your risk level with your age or with potential rewards. And this allocation is likely to change over time as you age and get and phase into retirement or close to it. While asset location is basically positioning the investments from your asset allocation into the best accounts to reduce your taxable income. Now, you may have money invested in taxable brokerage accounts like a joint or an individual account, you know, maybe some tax deferred accounts like a 401k or an IRA, or uh, hopefully a tax free Roth IRA account because Roths are um, going to be your best account if you can get money into them. Or well, probably a mixture thereof of different types of accounts, right? But we basically have those three types of accounts pre tax or tax deferred, your brokerage or after tax accounts, and then your Roth IRA accounts, which are tax free. Now, these accounts don't have to have the same asset allocation mix. And even though this is how many advisors are going to invest for you, or maybe if you're doing it yourself, this is how you have it all three accounts holding the same types of investments, this is something that usually gets missed. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're doing it on your own or you've been working maybe with a financial professional, but they don't lay the tax code. They don't do any tax planning. They just specialize in helping you grow your pile of money. Now, often these advisors are going to um, be doing audits on your portfolio from an investment risk perspective. And of course they should be, but often they're only going to talk about increasing or decreasing the amount of risk that you're taking. But have you ever audited your portfolio from a tax perspective to make sure that your investments are held as efficiently pos as possible as it relates to the tax code and the risk, of course, that you're taking. Has anyone ever laid the tax code on top of your retirement income situation? What do I mean by that? Well, let's think about it. Let's say that you have your less risky investments, you know, the ones that you're not trying to hit home runs with, like your bonds or your treasuries, your more conservative investments. Well, I would argue that they should be held in your pre-tax accounts or your 401ks or your IRAs, you know, your tax deferred accounts. Why? Well, because you're not trying to hit home runs here. You know, you're going to have to pay ordinary income taxes on these accounts anyway, and those are the highest tax rates in the code. So you want to keep those less growth oriented investments there. If you're going to have a stock go from 10 to 100 over time, it would be better to hold it in a different account type so that you don't have to pay the regular seven bracket income tax code when you take it out. Plus, why would you wanna own an interest paying investment in a brokerage account and pay taxes on it every single year when you could hold it in a pre-tax account that you're gonna be taxed on anyway when you take the money out of that account? So basically it's kind of saving you from being taxed twice. Then of course you start putting your growth allocation of your investments. You put the ones that you want from to, to hit home runs with. You wanna put those, you know, if they're gonna go from 10 to 100, well you want those in your Roth account, right? Cause that's gonna out tax-free and because you've already you know you've, you've contributed the money you've contributed to the Roth IRA was already taxed right and as long as you've held the Roth for you know um, at least five years the growth is also going to be tax-free which of course is why we love Roth accounts at my firm and then the next level of your growth investments should be in your taxable accounts or your joint or individual accounts since long-term capital gains have the favorable three bracket qualified dividend and long-term capital gains tax rates when you compare that compare those rates to the ordinary higher seven bracket income tax brackets, right? So the three bracket capital gains bracket is better than the seven bracket income tax brackets. Now, some of you are probably sitting there wondering, gosh, I wonder if that's what I've got going on in my investments. This asset location mix allows you to maintain your desired asset allocation across your entire portfolio while also reducing your income taxes and letting your investments grow. So basically we're reducing tax drag as well. In fact, Vanguard has calculated that with proper asset location, this can actually boost your after-tax returns up to 0.6% per year. Let's say that you have a million dollar nest egg and after withdrawals and investment returns, for simplicity's sake, let's say it stays at $1 million every year for the next 30 years. And 
let's say that we've been optimizing asset location this entire time and gaining the full 0.6% of value. We have $1 million times 0 0.006, which equals $6,000 in after-tax funds. And of course we multiply that times 30 and that equals $180,000 of after-tax money. As you can see, it certainly adds up to real dollars and cents over time. We're eliminating that tax drag and creating a higher $180,000 more in after-tax funds in your nest egg. So this is why we fo focus on asset location and tax planning for our clients. It's another vital arrow in the quiver that we use to limit lifetime tax liability. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. If you would like to see how we help our clients get the most out of their financial lives in retirement, please visit us at erwealth.com and we hope to see you there.